My name is Ty Pachel. I am the head of digital education for Bloom Charter Schools here in Abu Dhabi. Wonderful, thank you. Yeah. Um, is, is this your first time to guess? Yes, first time, first time here. Uh, well, welcome. And thank you. You've just been speaking with us. Yes. Uh, Amazing time. Tell us a little bit about uh, what you were talking about today. Yeah, so I went through my presentation. is called When AI Goes to School. It's just practical uses of artificial intelligence in the classroom. And um, how do you see um, AI, chat, GPT, Web3, the metaverse impacting on students mm. and, and teachers alike? I think just, you know, starting now, I think first is just getting over the reservation of using chat, GPT, or any kind of artificial intelligence. But I see, you know, chatbots or any kind of level of artificial intelligence used similar to how we use calculators now you know in the classroom where it'll just be a level where it's allowed and then there's a level where it's not but it's just going to be everyday routine from all levels from primary all the way up to you know college level just, just another tool yeah just another tool and, yeah. and uh, off the back of that, how do you see the, the, the future of education? How do you see that? that well, I see that in multiple ways, right? I see, I, what I really see and what we get from the usage of artificial intelligence is that you get a far more creative and differentiated classroom where a teacher doesn't have to spend a lot of time if a student is not on the appropriate levels or have the right understanding of something, that something that something can be created for that student to gain the understanding instantly, you know, on the fly. And that's what a lot of these artificial intelligence tools now do, is allow to, you know, make a very customized educational, you know, pathway for all students at all levels. Being so involved in uh, education specific technology, um, what do you think are some of the key trends that you're noticing in the classroom and that you're seeing in the, the wider education sector? Yeah, yeah. Well, of course, you know, um, post-pandemic, right? So, you know, all schools have now, you know, someone like me, where you have someone that's overall, you know, not an IT person and just fixing computers, but being able to you know know trends and know education i come from a very unique background i used to work in the tech industry i worked for microsoft and left the tech industry and went to education but then you know it was just like oh you're an it teacher or you're a cte technology you know teacher but now it's needed where there is someone on all school levels where someone has to know what the trends are in technology, but also know education and know how to marry those two things together. And so I think that's one of the, you know, the new things that are coming about is that we're getting savvy enough to know that even if distance learning has to happen again, we might be all on these screens again in two months, six months time period. We don't know. So we need someone to be able to facilitate that for us. And I see, you know, the, the schools that are doing that now are forward thinking, but they're also able to create great innovative plans that are happening, like even now today. Uh, first day of Guess, your first show that you did. What, what do you make of uh, Guess? Oh, it's awesome. I, I literally wish I could go back in time and just, you know, come back to previous ones. It's like, how have I missed this before? Like I said, I've been in this country for 11 years now, and this is my first guest, and I was like, I'll never miss this again. Like, of course not. Fantastic. Yeah. Thank you so much for your time. Yeah, really thank you. It. Thank you.